you guys feel me? Okay, good. Let's start episode 5. Oh my god. I've played this before, but I'm still very excited to play it again with all the different choices. Here we go. Previously on Life is Strange. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the oh, first. Sorry. I was trying to speak louder. All those binders are filled with what other What are you doing here, Matt? The mic is really bad. Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh. Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how! What the fuck? No! Oh, what to say? Oh, she won't remember. What to say? What to say? Very singy mood today. Oh shit. No music again. I like to put on some music though. Like until the, there won't be much songs, so let's just enjoy some music. The first time I saw this scene, I was like really, really freaked out and really scared. Like, like I thought Jefferson was gonna be a very sick villain and kind of more realistic and menacing and just you know like the ones that gives you chills when they talk. Yes, Jefferson is freaking sick and twisted and just gross. But he's so classic villain. It just puts me off with all the dialogue he gives and exposition. And I'm already ranting before the game even starts, so... Ugh, I really hate Jefferson as a character more than a villain. I'm just gonna say that out now. Ah, uh, hey, Lemon Victoria. Okay, by the way, last episode we didn't warn Victoria. So let's see how that affects. I would think she won't, she won't be here. Chloe? So. What? Where? It's a dark room. Hmm, so Victoria isn't here. Don't know what else has changed. Is anybody out there? Please help! Um, <clears throat> let's look around if anything. I'm gonna be taking this very slowly because 
this is the second playthrough and I didn't cover everything in my original playthrough I posted on YouTube so yeah I just want to see if anything that can be analyzed great I can see all my things but I can't grab it god I don't remember anything that happened this must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. <clears throat> that's very bad. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Well, this Max is more strong than she looks. Because remember episode four when she pushed that uh, machine in the barn? It's like. No, you can't do that. Like, Max, you're so small and you're quite skinny. You're not like muscular or you're not an athlete. I don't know where you get that strength from. Like, I of can't course. even do that. And right in front of me. What's that? Oh, he took the cell phone? Oh, is it my cell phone? Okay. Um, drag the trolley. <laughs> I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Here we go, focusing. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Uh, no, Victoria's not in the dark room because we didn't warn her. Like, if you warn Victoria she about Nathan, she goes to Jefferson for help and that's when Jefferson kidnaps her. So since we didn't want her, she didn't go to Jefferson. Oh, that's great. Uh, look at those mad skills, guys. Oh, Max. I'm so down with this focusing. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. <clears throat> see this setup he tried so hard but you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme but he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more as his elite family will find out along with arcadia bay nice oh good oh those eyes It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Too much talking. Chloe. Right. Jefferson. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. 
Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. <coughs> Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> See? Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life what is with your eyes no. remember my number one rule always oh. take oh. the shot that happened so sick yeah if you guys didn't know like I just want to say the thing that bothers me so much about episode 5 number one number one thing is the sacrifice bay ending was really pretty badly done I think there could have been more secondly Jefferson as a villain like it's all been building up for like four episodes and we expect something okay the game is so based on re realism and like all the issues brought up so I expected like a realistic psychopath not Jack the Ripper or he anything like that for his fucked up binders just to take photos yeah I like the motive of if you guys read my review I said like I like the motive of Jefferson fine if he is the teacher like kind of obvious but not exactly 100% expected because the number one suspect in everyone's minds was Nathan but then Jefferson was the one second suspect but the thing is he just this presentation of him in this episode is so yeah basic he he's like movie villain type he's not like he's not a true psychopath like nobody talks like that he's giving so much exposition he does stuff maybe quiet collecting but <sighs> just sick of I could try it. another photo. No. That picture isn't going to help. Yeah, and just I can't go through all that again. Just pisses I me won't. off. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Like seriously, I actually don't mind the bay the sacrifice bay ending. Just Jefferson could have been such a so much better villain. Uh, like he's so out of character like you remember Jefferson as a teacher he has this style and then suddenly is like this totally basic villain and it's like all the things you know about Jefferson is gone this might work please work if there was an explanation for him being bipolar okay I can take that but I don't think that's the case here Okay, but the thing is, I don't think it actually suits his style as a character unless he is bipolar or something. You can just tell. He's not a good villain. So wise, yet so innocent. Yeah, I know it's not bipolar, it's not even close. That's why I say he's definitely not bipolar. I'm getting some spectacular but I don't know, it's like images saying he's here, a Max. different person, like Yes. He Victoria would lost kill all to of be his in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. 
I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Um, I'm gonna use all the different dialogue options, so... You killed Chloe! You murdered my best friend! She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, okay. but that's what happens mm -hmm. when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Okay, so Kate survived. So I want to say blah 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 and see what that does. But yeah, I'm going to say Kate survived. Kate believed and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger yeah. than ever. And she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Hmm. Um. As much as I really want to say this, I still want to go for a different dialogue option, so this is not what I think, but yeah. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Uh, okay, like some people have been telling me that, uh, well, I have not explored much about um, episode 5, but they say that Rachel, I don't know if it's just theory or is it actually true, when you just find out over time. Rachel was like, was in cahoots with all this, so she voluntarily, she voluntarily tried to take pictures for Jefferson, maybe for money or just she, you know, she has the dream of being a model, so. So it could be, no, let's find out, um, why Rachel? Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Oh, um, I really wish I could explore all that op options. But yeah, I'll find out if she... Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. Sick. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody 
loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. It's kind of anyway, true, but... I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. <coughs> now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay, I get it that some people... This is still a theory because no one actually knows Rachel and there's so much mystery, still a lot of mystery to her, but... Um, well, the thing is, Stella said she sleep with Jefferson and... By the relationship with her and the school and the teachers, I think it may be possible that she, look, Jefferson wasn't lying. Rachel did what kind of was in love with her, but maybe she's just pretending for everyone else. Because okay, first of all, Chloe's uh, sorry, uh, Rachel's spirit animal is a doe, a deer, which in a lot of cultures, even in Asian cultures, they are represent they represent a trickster uh, character. So they seem to care for people and they act nice but they trick people into getting what they want so it could be the case with Frank when she was trying to get drugs from him maybe Jefferson maybe to get famous or maybe she really was in love with him we don't really know but that's what her spirit animal says about her so Rachel is not exactly an angel that's what I think she is not completely innocent, but of course, what Jefferson did is completely wrong. And yeah, she doesn't deserve to die, basically. So I don't really know much about Rachel. We don't know anything about Rachel, basically, except what the game tells us. So that's why I think a DLC is actually needed. Like, Rachel's life from when she meets Chloe, all the way until she dies being killed by Nathan. That'll be quite interesting. Because Rachel seems to be a very... This is not our big character. This is pure. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Max, um, I wish you could see it. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. Please. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. Oh God. You. The I can see why you're into Wait! Like, Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Yeah, I already explored all these dialogues, so let's just get to the fight you, you, know, fight. you still have my diary don't worry nobody's going to read it thanks for reminding me really that interesting anyway. there's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary okay oh, see you midnight look at your selfies what a waste of talent look at that shot max you can do so much better Yeah. Oops, oh no, copyright again, right? 
got to be careful. Um. Uh oh. Oh, he's not wearing his jacket at all. I, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The answer is, go to hell. Um, let's see who cares. <laughs> Who cares? This class is <laughs> hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let I'll you try see. to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks for the warning, Max. <laughs> so, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. time hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's exposure. make it and real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Okay. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Yeah, that's um. That's Samuel's sister. Yeah, that's the name if Chloe ever gets married with Max. <laughs> Max Price. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Well, it's not even necessary for Max to suddenly... It doesn't matter her. what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. That's more for her sake. Like, she gets to go to San Francisco and that just doesn't change anything. But it's still a good, like... Um, expansion to a new timeline. Oh, Victoria. Oh. We could have been I, friends. I did not read this, so let's find out more about Victoria. Okay, my phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust up my posy. Why did I give up? Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody, he, everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I, I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Wow, that's 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 just insecurity right here. Uh, yeah, that just says a lot about Victoria. Envy is a sin. I think she's secretly religious. She just wants to like blend in with everyone else. Very interesting. I did not read that the previous playthrough. 
This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. Yeah. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Yeah, I remember about the photo. Poor Kate. Let's give her a hug. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Pose, Kate. Smile. Oh, she's so pretty. I saw this already. Let's see. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Yep. Bullying is just stupid. I don't even understand why people do it. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I don't Bay. know why, but still, I guess it's a very immature thing to do. Like, it's always something really that happens, especially in middle school and maybe high school as well. I'd like to bust this up right now. Okay, let's, um... Victoria, I'm let's sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Dear Folio, can I just leave? Well, we can't leave, right? Uh, whatever. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. <laughs> no. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Well, we're a bitch to her here. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. Whoa. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. Wow. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Damn. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. Wow. I'm not that going to say I didn't well. enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, yes. uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me and Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Yeah, Jefferson. Well, that's why I say I really like this game. Like, even like, she, like being mean to Victoria, this like changes the dialogue. I don't know what exactly set that in action. Like, maybe not warning her, or just the dialogue I chose, or yeah, just all the all the choices combined. Like, wow, Max, just wow. Success, such bitch. I wish I could smack talk that well. Not that I need to, but maybe it'd be helpful one day.
Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. <coughs> You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Well, I think Max's contest photo wasn't anything special. Like, it was interesting angle, but... Like, well, it doesn't Chloe. relate to... Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. Like all the other I photos. It. I fixed everything. We're all like based on Wilder. life. And just being a hero. I don't know how taking a selfie of yourself looking at your own photos represents heroism in any way. Like I think Kate could have done well for like won the contest. Or maybe Victoria because she took a photo of her dad at work. Be careful. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Hot Dog Man. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. Hmm. Just have to wait, right? I have to admit, I love being called an artist. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Yeah, I already read this. Excuse me, sir. Doesn't your phone have to be shut off before we defend? Why? It's not like we're going to crash. <laughs> RFCC rules, sir. Oh, I hope you sir. It's a women's voice. Shut off your phone, sir. That's why I always tell the flight attendants, like, come on, my phone's not gonna cause the plane to crash. Please fasten your I'm putting it in flight the mode. Gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. That Thank shouldn't you. affect anything. There's no signal. In a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco. But we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Principal Wells, um, yeah, he was a total dick. But like a lot of people, like, a lot of theories are going on about him being part of Jefferson's plan. But I said no, and they all based it on the stupid whiskey in the room. It's like labeling, labeling a person for being part of something because he's an alcoholic. That's his beer. Whatever you see in the movie or in the game. Because he's an alcoholic, that's his beer. Because all beer belongs to the alcoholic for some reason. Like, no. Principal Wells has no motive towards this. 
No, even for Sean Prescott, like I never thought. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. That is uh, really overwhelming. But of course, it's nothing compared to seeing wow, your... Max. You did it. Somehow. So I went from the dark room uh, to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. Okay, cool. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Okay, now I forgot what I was gonna say. Because there's so much talking in this episode. Uh, yeah, nothing interesting. Look at this print. Oh shit, pictures, I forgot. Um, that's the wrong one. Okay, yeah, it's this girl right here. Yep, Max being a creep, taking pictures of strangers behind their backs. Anyway, this woman seems this woman seems very has a very unique look. I say, is she someone we someone being referenced? Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Yeah, she is really kawaii. Look at her freckles and her hair. She's so awesome. God, can we get married? No, we can't. I, I already have someone. Her name is Hella. No, sorry. Her name is Chloe. What? What did I say? It's Hella. Hella's not even a name. Did you even name your kid Hella? Cinder Hella. Like I do not understand oh. art. Principal Wells. Let's see what's on the menu. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Hmm. That's a nice memory. It's good. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. He could have canceled our entries after. I know it's kind of simple, but. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. Um, surreal. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. <laughs> I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. <coughs> Should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you should have. Like, seriously, you should have. Not being afraid of his status as a rich kid. Um. Mm, honest, wait. And I. <laughs> I just wanna say. I, was, I told him, like, yeah, you're such a. You're such a douchebag for not. Even believing Max. I did tell you that Nathan was involved. Not that I expected anyone to believe me. I'll regret that for the rest of my life, Max. 
The Prescotts knew how to protect their own. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Hmm. What strange weather. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. <laughs> oh, at least for this event. Now, if That's you'll so excuse informal. me, I hear the buffet calling me again. That's very Western culture where you call... Like in your, when you're in university, you call people, you call the teachers by their first name. But like in Asia, whatever school you're in, you're supposed to address them as Mr. then insert surname. But anyway, I, I guess I can give Principal Wells full redemption here. Because they explored the dialogue enough to go back to his douchebaggery in episode 1. Sometimes I'm very confused by the game's direction and character development. Like some of them are too too forced into being nice when the character is basically a dick or a bitch. Victoria is well done as well, but Principal Wells, yeah, Principal Wells is okay. Like, I think it's an example of not judging someone by first impressions. Because Principal Wells is really freaking stressed having to handle Nathan and the school. And he doesn't really um, dig into Kate negatively. He... Has not How actually did these got galleries into it. afford to rent here? This makes me feel so yeah. sad. Yeah, that is different. I think I was back in the world. This is okay. Bad framing. Bad picture. Let's contemplate shit. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. Mm, yeah. And she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. But for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. Yeah, I always thought that Max has driven Chloe to become stronger and change her, but like it's also obvious how Chloe, the more fearless um, part of the duo, has also driven Max to become fearless herself. So each of their positive attributes have reflected in each other over the five episodes, and I really like that. Um, is there anything else to explore? I don't want to talk to these people, it's not really important. This that girl has the same look but she's like black. Well the same hair and face. Lazy extras. Well, a lot of games are like that, so at least they change the clothes. I love art. It kinda looks like Rachel. Like her style anyway. Oh, she has a pro protest what was the what's it called? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Ironically. Fantastic for that, whatever. <coughs> yeah, and that's not one of the photos that have. Sh yeah, she's a hero for being strong. Like, you see, most of the photos here are like about heroism. Like, they have I a wonder message. Wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes. Like, see, pictures. a mom, dad, they are heroes, and this is very narcissistic. Be cool, Max. <laughs> Smile and I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. Be stupid. I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. Just saying. I don't know. I I can't be a judge. I'm I'm not suited. I'm not suited to be an art critic here. Here, I'm a scientist. Um, oh yeah, there's a photo. You can take a photo of this, right? Or is it something else? Okay, it's not. Um, look at the photo. 
<laughs> Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. Yeah, the photos do look really realistic. You not like did what it, Max. Is. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Oh. I wonder how painful it is. Yeah, especially when the photos of the girls in the dark room were shown, I was like, so shocked Chloe! because it's hey, so real. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. It's called being socially awkward, sister. Saying hi. Oh, you like left that. the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! The can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. Hmm. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Did I miss anything? Well, I guess it's too late to actually check anything. No, I don't think there's anything else to check. <coughs> I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be- No fucking way! Chloe can't die again. Oh, I have to yeah, save her. Afford to rent here. This makes me feel so sad. Bad exposure. Like I was back in high school. Bad framing. Bad picture. Yeah. Excuse me. I'd love sure to ask you a few questions too. about your work. Sorry, but. Oh please, just let me finish this early because I don't want to have to go through the same interrupting bullshit you people are gonna throw at me. Yep. So much better right now. Fucking what is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Hmm. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Fucker shit's lair. Yeah, some people actually see the choice of sacrificing the bay as in sacrificing the town, as in the place, and they don't actually think about the people oh, in it. Like, fuck! God, no! I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything! What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. <laughs> I already said it shouldn't die, so... A lot of people chose that, I bet. Fuck you. 
Not a Good choice. answer. Good answer. Oh. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. You, idiot. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He no, burned my diary. I'm always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something really? You're saying weird that. going on with you. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. Good. I hope Scree these images will be appreciated Shut for up, what creep. they truly capture. The loss of youth. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. I would usually agree with you, Midnight, about this being a game that's why you please. can sacrifice. Chloe, don't do sorry, this. sacrifice the bay over Chloe. <laughs> but I was really in my feelings are really invested in the game, and like that's like how I like to treat story-based games like require decisions. Like even when I play Telltale games, I base it on as if I'm actually I promise living the experience. This final dose won't hurt. And what I would actually do. What? More than what I want and what I desire. Because not everything in life is Damn. based on desire. No, oh. David! No! Jesus! David Madsen! And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait! Hold on! Can I... Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Mm, well, I don't remember. One last picture, right? Don't warn David. Well, what is he? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Um, I don't know, I checked the walk Tracy. I have to warn him before he enters. Let's just play around with it. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? Well, let's try not warning him then. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Oh, come. Must be something I can interact with. Uh, okay, I, I'll just warn him because I think I need to warn him. I promise this final dose won't hurt. 
What? Oops, oops. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Uh, 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 uh. No, no, okay. That was that was when. Okay. Uh, there must be something. Um. Oh, oh come on! I don't wanna get the scar. I can't interact. See, I only can interact after he gets the scar. Let's, uh, maybe we can see what happens and we can change it. Is there something else? Uh, no, there's nothing I can do. Jesus! David Madsen! He's out cold. Good. Ask for water? <laughs> I don't know how that changes things. Okay, while we're letting it play again, I'll check the walkthrough. And I promise you. Um, water, did you guys say? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Or some sparkling apple juice would be nice right now. But I can probably burp in your face all day long. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What picture are you talking what? about? No, it's not a picture. Don't warn him, okay. Okay, he's No gun, score. no balls. Jefferson! Uh, it's over. You are not going to stop me. It's already play out. Take Jefferson. It's over. You are not going to stop me. Was a lot of things going to stop me. The gun. You aren't going to stop me. He's hiding a gun over there. Ow. Sorry, Madsen. Oh, that was painful to oh. watch. Jefferson, it's over. Grab your gun now. Got it. <laughs> oh, fail. Christ. So much fail. Jefferson, uh, it's over. You are not going David, to stop me. Kick that table. Yes, sir. <laughs> David Madsen. Yes, sir. I always hated that Bang. mustache. Yes, sir. Bang. You hated him too, man. Uh, Jefferson. It's over. Sorry, I just want to see you all this stuff. Going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he's you so badass. You are not going to stop me. I thought we can use a camera or something. Yeah, this is, uh, you are not going to stop me. <laughs> Famous last words. Yes, sir. Badass. Oh Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. <laughs> That's a good idea, Midnight. <laughs> Let's wrap something. up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Even when he's unconsciously handsome. God damn it. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I can use that picture he took of us. Oh yeah, I didn't get Chloe's necklace. Shit, no signal. 
It's also very comforting to think that even in the Arcadia Thanks, Bay Mr. and Jefferson, Dream, but Max, you won't need this anymore. Max gets to wear Chloe's necklace wherever she goes. He's like keeping a piece of her. The Prescotts had goes. to know about this. I better go outside and call okay. Warren. But there's nothing interesting. Oh, please answer. I can check the um. What this? Frank is. isn't a bad person, but he can't be oh, in denial right. about the drugs he provided. I had no idea he was this sick. Okay, let's just take the necklace. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you. For the last time. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Good God. I only want that necklace. I should studio. get one. Maybe I can make my own. I thought it'd be cool. Like, I have uh, some shurikens at home. Like, I th thought it was a c pretty cool idea, like, having a necklace and putting, like, weapons and or ammo around it. Max, and I thought, oh, I could put my shuriken on it, but then my shuriken is really sharp because it's an actual shuriken. Like, no, that's a dumb idea. Okay, we're gonna tell David uh, about Chloe, and he's gonna kill Jefferson. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. More talking. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. Yeah. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. Well... You still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. <laughs> and Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Yeah, you will. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. Um, anyway, I think um, David and Chloe have so much in common, like how they always blame other people. At least in the beginning of the game, anyway. Even though they both hate each other. And they, they both have very poor social skills, in family anyway. Just getting along with people that they have to, but they can't. But it's just very hard for anyone to actually do that. Um, anyway, I think like, David... David, like, people thought that Nathan would be the one to save Max and get redemption. But instead it was David. And I, ha I like how that is actually quite realistic because it's always expectation about like the the detour antagonist but instead like people think it's, it would be cool like they think that it, it just shows that people who deserve redemption sometimes they, they just don't get it and sometimes sadly they also get the opposite of it so Nathan dies but they also show like how people who are always labeled as m like mean or evil like you know how they portray step parents in like um, cartoons and Disney films 
they aren't bad parents, although they don't get along with their, the, their step kids. They have good intentions. Most, well, I think most of them are. Like, that's most of the case for step parents, anyway. Well, this, sorry, I just have to say that. Um, Chloe is tough. Yep. Just like you. I'm glad we have something in common. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but. It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. Mm. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Oh, boy. Yeah, I never actually uh, thought David was in on anything. And, okay, fine, he was a douche for, like, bullying Kate. But then, I, once I saw his book on, like, um, coming home after war, I quickly understood why he's acting like that. Uh, let's tell the truth. And kill Jeff Rucker shit. David. Uh, Chloe is... <coughs> is... dead. This isn't happening. You can't... No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you, are you sure? Are you yes, I, I saw her. I, I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. Last night, when I was so close to finding out the truth, <clears throat> I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I. God damn it! <laughs> Excuse me. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Oh, that's pretty cold. <sighs> <clears throat> Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. <laughs> Max, you better get outside. Yeah, take a picture of You've Jefferson. seen enough of this room. Then show him in the David, future. I mean, in the past. Thank you for saving me. Um, yeah, I... Well, I really don't approve of, um... Uh, David smacking Chloe because number one is not even his daughter. I won't go into what is right and wrong about how parents should discipline their child as a father. Well, okay, I think there's a difference in culture as well. My God, what do I tell Joyce? So, like, it's what? for example, I've seen so many people die this week. For example, like Asian people are really strict, so hitting their child with a cane is like, or smacking them is normal, like for most families, I believe. But of course, like overdoing it is something totally different. I think punishment is acceptable, but it's not what I would do. I, 
I would think about positive reinforcement more than negative reinforcement. No, Jefferson. So we can't really judge how people want to discipline their child. But the thing is, David is not Chloe's real father, so he has no right to hit her. That was a mistake. But I understand why he did it because Chloe's can be really stubborn at times, and David is a bit of a violent person, but he has good intentions. I feel numb. Um. I can't believe Jefferson is dead. I lost again. I always lose. Oh, poor David. Hold tight, David. I'm going to fix everything. Okay. Sorry, David, but we have to go. No photos here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Why can't I just... Oh yeah, anyway, um, Frank is dead. I remember- Freedom! Holy shit! This storm is real! I need to find Warren. Um... Yes! What was I saying? Warren! Can you hear me? <laughs> Never mind! Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Isn't that great a shot? Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. Don't Shut up, Warren. God damn it. I'm scared. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Yeah, just shut up, Warren. Uh, yeah. I know, like, in the last stream, I didn't manage to kill Frank, but I really wanted to. So I replayed the game and fixed everything. So now Frank is dead. I should have played something that was more related to him instead of like Max that song anyway <laughs> I'm a player since when I'm a player guys <laughs> I didn't tell you anything about my my dating scene anyway <sighs> yeah I feel sorry for blaming Nathan well the thing is Nathan was part of it so but it wasn't his fault it was totally Jefferson so then. and after I replayed the game I noticed Nathan's behavior it was like all the classic symptoms of psychological, psychological disorders and the medicine he's taking 
freaks me out, like this paradigm, like all the symptoms of him shaking. Warren is at the two hills diner. He is really Hurry under up. a lot of maintenance, like from drugs. Whether the positive ones for keeping him safe or not. Uh, the ones that he's prescribed with or the ones that he's taking recreationally. Anyway. Please! Somebody! Anybody! We're gonna let everyone die. Because hashtag scumbag max, hashtag mean bitch max. So let's. I'm gonna try wa to watch. Shit! Unless I need help again. I know we can watch people die, so. So. Yeah, you guys have to wait a bit. Yeah, Max is wearing a necklace right now. Let's watch our classmate die. Because we are. We are ruthless and sadistic. There's no way I'm letting Chloe die. Yeah, of course. Don't let Chloe die, but Somebody let everyone help else me. die. Please help me get down. God damn it! I need help. God damn it! Die, Lisa. Die. Can we just help me, see her? Help me get down! Can we just see her die? Alyssa needs help again. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't warn her, so maybe she won't believe us. Help me get down, Max! Alyssa! Are you okay? Let me help you down! Fuck that shit, Max! Oh, yeah. Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way! Oh shit! Oh. Holy shit! They just showed it. Yeah, that's what I think. Oh wow! So I wonder how many times you have to warn her before she starts believing you. Can we actually see her body? Oh damn! No, we can't. I. I can't think about all those children out there. Mystery solved. But nobody gets a reward. I'm returning your tablet that I basically stole from you. I saw it laying there with all the <laughs> those cat pics and I just took it. I'm sorry for putting you through all this bullshit. I've been going through a lot myself the past year. I was jealous that you had all those cats. <laughs> Nobody likes me here, so I thought it would be funny to take your tablet. <laughs> things like this things like this are why nobody likes me here. I wasn't sure if I could face you, so I wrote this note just in case. Either way, here's your tablet back. I hope I haven't caused you too much stress. I hope uh, you know how lucky you are to <laughs> have so many cool cats. <laughs> uh, no, uh, of course, you're gonna put something funny like that with all this bullshit. Please, uh. please, please move! Please, God! This is the end! It's all over now! Now it's time to Robert watch Evan die. Eat your heart out! Yeah. Oh! Damn. Let's watch that again. Okay, I feel bad. Sorry. <laughs> Not Evan. I have to stop Sorry, him from getting hurt. Sorry, kill everyone. Cause hey. I saved everyone. <clears throat> How are you gonna die? I don't wanna. I have to get this guy out of here, or he'll die. One eternity later. Somebody! Anybody! Help me! Ooh. <clears throat> oh, sleepover. Can we have pizza? I don't wanna die here! Pizza. Maybe what? No, I yeah, really let her fall down and I couldn't pick up the Please. plank. I only picked Somebody. up the plank when she was still alive. Help me! 
the truckers are gonna die. I don't wanna wait too long because it's gonna be a long way through. Please! Somebody! Anybody! Help me! But the whole town is dying. Am I responsible too? I don't wanna die here! Yes, Max, everything's your fault. Let's just leave him. That's what you get for taking photos at the wrong time, Evan. Here's a new lesson. Never take the shot. Photography is too much burden. Just, just study science like Warren. And me. How can I get out of here? Okay. I'm gonna let that guy die. This guy. Ooh. He's dead. Brutal. Electrocuted. Hi. Photos, shit. Almost forgot. Uh, oh yeah, the wheel and the and the car. No, the diner. Save it. Hey, yeah, we can see Warren from here. Oops. We can see Warren from here. Oh, I'm not tall enough. Send. Oh, there it is. There it is. And Warren died. And Joyce died. The end. Oh, bye yes. sister. Thanks for coming. Okay. Let's see. I wish life was back to simple eggs and bacon. Yeah, we didn't warn the homeless lady. So let's see. Oh, damn. Oh, it's, uh... Oh no, not her. I should have warned her. I never even asked her name. So selfish. Although this is a very, um, it's, sh it's a shorter episode than episode 4, but I'm gonna analyze a lot of things, so I'm taking my time, so, um, if you guys have to go, it's fine. You can still watch it on YouTube when I upload it. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An e At least nobody's going to starve in here. And surrounding counties. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. Let's go see our bay warren. Max! Oh. Frank became oh, a bad guy. Cool. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. 
Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you can <laughs> do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. <clears throat> Come on, guys. You have to give Warren some credit. Hello. So glad everybody is safe it's here. <clears throat> but I need that oh, photo shit. from sorry. Warren to help sorry. Chloe. You know Warren's no. name means guardian I'm angel. Sorry. No more Thanks. music. We will get out of Warren this. is awesome, actually. Can I just see SMSs? Let's show, let me show you guys something. Warren. This is if... Oh, I have not read all of it, so... Wow. Oh, was it Kate's message? Sorry. But let's read Warren's messages. So, yo yo, where are you, Maxwell? Seriously, just tell me to piss off. Max, now I'm worried. I'm leaving the party to find you, sorry. Max, I blow your phone up until you tell me to leave you alone. It's not about me. There is heavy ego shit going on. The air feels electric and the clouds are bubbling. Please let me know if you're all alright, okay? Do you see this storm? It's a full on tornado. I can't believe. Sorry, I had to run. Cars are flying. Barely with it to two wheels. Diner. Joyce and some other people are here freaking out like me. The, so the storm is huge. Please take cover. Let me know if you're safe. Quite sweet. Um, and then Kate. Where's Kate? Kate. Look what Kate says. Kate in the hospital. She says like, I have to go but I also want to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet he brought by some school books I needed. See, Warren's awesome. Okay. But, yeah of course, price field first. But I'm just saying give Warren credit. Both are valid romance options. It's just because we spend a lot of time with Chloe, a lot of people have become attached to her. And yeah, she's a unique character as well, like much more than Warren. But Warren is, well I think he's just too much of a classic um, good guy next door. But he has good intentions, so totally ship it. I ship both of them actually. So let's um can we speak to Joyce? Can I even speak to this guy? Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Ugh, lying to her. <coughs> She's safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Wait, the Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with... David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. Well, I didn't mean to take David's side against you or Chloe. I know you try to see the good side in everybody, and David needs to try that too. But that's not important now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Again. Joyce, you've gone through so much for Chloe and David. If you were my mom, I would be so proud. Oh, oh sweetie, thank you. But your parents should be prouder of you. Even David told me how tough he thinks you are. And he doesn't give out many compliments, as you know. David is a real hero. I don't know what he's gone through in the war, but I can imagine. And he even showed me how to find my own strength under extreme conditions. I am so glad to hear you say that, Max. I know he's not always an easy person to defend. Most people only see him at his worst. You've seen him at his best. And that's the man I want in my life. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think theories are kind of um, most of them have become invalid after the end of this um, episode five. Not saying yours is invalid or anything, but okay. One thing I'm bothered Warren is definitely a player. Proof of him dating Alyssa, and then in the alternate timeline, Stella. But fair enough because Stella, because maybe Warren and Max weren't friends in the alternate timeline, so yeah. But like, okay, I'm skeptical, skeptical about that. But I think Warren is just a nice guy. Maybe his means of getting girls is a bit different. So yes, let's, let's get this romance over with. You guys complain so much. I know price field, hashtag price field, but come on, let's give Warren a chance. Okay? I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but. I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did yeah, in the Yeah, shut up, Warren. Room. Max even knows it. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? Hmm. I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. <sighs> what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or altered time, Maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. And I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this yeah, week... Yeah, I think you're on time. I don't know um, shit. Midnight. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max... I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Good talk. I can't. Hey. Be careful. Oh, yeah, out there. yeah. I've not actually explored what happens when you leave him. So, okay, well, let's leave him first. Watch out for Joyce and everybody else. I got this, Max. 
Go on. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Well, that was boring. <laughs> of course. I thought he was gonna cry or something. Or try to make a move. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, okay, War. You're awesome. Now just shut up and kiss me. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. <laughs> of course you do. I'm gonna make the right choices from <laughs> now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Hey, even the game hinted they are more for price feel like. Even the kiss with Chloe was so much Please more be longer. Okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. That was more like a peck on the on the lips, but yet still valid as a kiss. Very nice. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Midnight you're a Warren hater. Not just a price feel shipper. Uh We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Uh. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. <laughs> no worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, we were in it to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Yeah, exactly. Stop agree, and listen Louis. for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're gonna... You're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Let's explore all the dialogue options. Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! Freaking blind... Oh, you, you almost had her, Max! I can still do this. Blind revenge. It's the stupidest thing ever. Excuse me, I'm... <clears throat> Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Um... Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Overconfident. Let the past go? Chloe, I know this isn't easy, but it's time for you and me to let the past go. We have to focus on our future while we still have one. That's so easy for you to say. You don't know what my life has been these past five years. Come on, of course I... But at some point you have to move forward. One thing I learned at Blackwell is the saying, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. I that's, have to do this. That's not how so I guess I'm on my own. Again. Uh, Chloe! Okay, Chloe! If I'm totally strong and honest, she'll listen. I'm her best friend. Excuse me, I'm going to that party. <laughs> yep. No, it's okay, Lemon you Victoria. Please? Um... Okay. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. 
This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? Yeah, and my gun. Exactly. What do you mean, Max? Uh... What did you do? Mm -mm. <sighs> Nothing. I mean, whenever I use my rewind, I create new timelines, new destinies. Then you can't be sure of anything. That's why I'm going to take out Jefferson. That will be our reality. No, no, Chloe, hold on. <laughs> Chloe! Chloe knows I have this power. She has to believe me now. Nick, yep. Will you please? Mar Mark. No. Chloe, I'm. I know. I'm I know. Tell you the truth. I'm just exploring all no the matter what. Lives. I changed your past, and I, I. I had to make a terrible choice, and I. I. Max. Please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was Thank able you. to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but but you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You you are completely paralyzed. And you you were in pain. You were slowly dying and you you asked me to end your life I did for you I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain God Max that must have been that must have been awful for you I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that it was worse for you but I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? Is that why you stuck up for him? Because you think he can help us, really? Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. <sighs> Please. Like he cared when he got in your face for smoking a joint? You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I... I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe.
troubled by the, this theory, the concept of displacing souls and Max's souls and oh, realities. Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. Max is so, so how was your time trip, dude? Oh, so Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked! It actually worked! You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused and just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Uh, Chloe... I've got your back, Rex. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Was. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and I our have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson the lecture again. The this the might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Yeah, she even Bueller. mentions Rachel Diane before. Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Let me choose to sacrifice her and the of hopeless happen. faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad yeah. mothers and children. Fucking she saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner oh, you and capture like you in a moment red. of desperation. Oh, but the first time that happened, actually... Everybody's gone so now. Like, what the hell, game? Have I totally fucked up time? This new doesn't level make of sense. Darkness right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Midnight. That was my reaction to... Uh, wow. Can I say so? Wow. Oh, was this Kate's graffiti? I thought it was like Chloe's. The I want to die. She wrote that in the fountain in front of the school. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Hmm. Not yet, you bastard. Yeah. Yeah, we s uh, we've seen all this stuff. I don't think I missed anything. All the messed up shit. And oh yeah, pictures. Oh my god, did I forget any pictures? God damn it. Nope, we're just on time.
I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. Also, um, yeah, is this like a nightmare or is this broken reality? Okay, Max goes into when when we enter this section, she she has her classic moment of like fainting and going into like her vision. So I don't know if this is her being in a vision or like a nightmare. That's what she calls it. She just fainted and she's having a nightmare. Or is she actually in a broken reality? Because that's proof when she tried to tear the photo, her everyday her everyday hero photo. So it's very it's really messed up to think this is actually a broken reality more than a nightmare. I see you, Max Caulfield. All right, Don't even again. think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. All right, the journal. Uh, I totally forgot. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so <clears throat> happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no <laughs> way I'm saying that. No way. Uh-huh. I'll try saying thanks for killing Chloe. It's about time somebody finally oh killed God. Chloe. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will. Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling uh, you Maxine. God. Forever. Um, this can't be real. I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty messed up if it's a broken reality. Alright, okay, the, the text. Oh, uh, yeah. I already read this. Uh, I forgot to do it in my original playthrough, so let's see. Uh, Max, we have surveillance video of you overdosing Chloe. You cannot escape now. There is no reality where you can hide. Don't you dare understand underestimate me you hear overdosing Chloe um, also um, what Max said about Chloe um, what, what Max oh my god sorry my brain's like s functioning but oh wait let me just try to remember later um, Max I love your photo shoot with Jefferson he absolutely captured you if you want we can hang out and get high Cool, Nathan. Pompadour. Uh, bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. You got a snack? Okay, Pompadour. I didn't kill you this time, but Chloe did anyway. Um, Rachel. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Uh, real soon. Hmm, is this a hint for something? At first I thought was it like Max is gonna die and meet her in heaven? Or are we gonna finally get this stupid DLC that is well deserved right now? Samuel, good evening young Max. The squirrels talk to me but how can you? Samuel has no phone. So is this a squirrel texting us? The squirrels speak for you. So that's all the text I think. I can't scroll anymore. Um uh, No, there's no DLC coming out. I'm I just said a lot of people also suggested but I like told Mikkel a long time ago that I say um, if you guys aren't doing um, season 2, can you make a DLC about Rachel where Rachel, we get to play as Rachel or her perspective when she meets Chloe up to the point where the game, where, where she is found like dead or whatever. Cause we don't get to even interact or see Rachel's model at all in Life is Strange. How come Kate's dead again? Oh, no, please don't tell me this. Oh, stupid theories. I don't think that this is all nothing. Oh. 
I hate theories, to be honest. Hey, Kate. This ruins. Max, why did you stop Some of them just ruin the game. What predictions are different than theories? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. What? That doesn't mean Thanks sense. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Oh my god, guys, shut up. Please don't. Don't ruin this for me. Not, not right now. Please don't make those stupid theories. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate it when people say that. I'm so sorry, but... Uh, like saying Max is having a dream or... Oh, no, no, no. Uh. Going to look for the key. In case. Um, 218. I hate what ifs. I'd rather live a I'd rather live a life full of oh wells than what if. So oh well this happened in the game. Stop saying what if this and what if that. Great Miss She was she my angel. angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. It's up to your own Rachel imagination. So but Rachel don't state life. it as a theory because I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago. She just yeah. left Arcadia without a word, without me. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was just kidding. Uh, Rachel Ember to Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. Yep. So sexy. Uh, Victoria's room. No. Why did you go fuck yourself? Did you see her? Why don't you go fuck yourself? I also totally ship Victor Victoria and Max more than Warren. Ah, giant squirrels! Oh my god! Good. Freaky. This one is for Samuel. <laughs> this one is for Samuel, like really. Still thinking about Samuel with, with all this bullshit. Uh, my room. I just play the music because you don't get cop copyrighted for it, but it's funny. Even her thoughts are backwards, even though she's going forward. So weird. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Even though it's funny. Uh, sorry, I can't sing backwards, so that's why I have the music on. Oh yeah, the text. So uh, yeah, I'll read the text. Um. Oh. No. The <laughs> Jefferson. Oh my God. <laughs> How fucking hard is it to turn in one goddamn selfie? <laughs> okay, okay, Nostra Fedge. Isn't he incredible? Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, that. that's pretty cool. I mean, of course. This is logic. This is so cool. What the time? Where's the time? 
What are you? Is it on the phone? <laughs> oh, yeah, see it on top. That's why I see it in my video. It's all see it on top. Or something. Mari said it in her playthrough. I guess you can check her video for that. Okay, by the way, um, I'm not exactly sure how to get Warren's uh, locker pick. <laughs> Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Oh, this stupid part of the game. That was interesting, but still... Uh, it was Please annoying. understand, Max. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. Hmm. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I also want to hear all the dialogue because this is all messed up dialogue, so let's spend a bit of a time listening to them. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold Ooh. blood. There's a new dialogue right there because I killed him. After everything I did for you, and you accuse me of making our sweet, naive Kate Marsh cry. Art is supposed to make you cry, and you will. What happened to your spark, Max? Max? What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. Okay, bye. You're a shitty teacher, by the way. I realize now you'll never be an artist. Much less well, a photographer. This is Principal Come Wells. On. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. She never seen that photo on the other side. Let's Attention! Go check it out. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic circumstances. So that's Kate that I Rachel. To investigate after I Kate get again. my drink on. It's Max. Will Max Caulfield please? Hello, Max. Will Max Caulfield please come to wait, Max? <laughs> all right, oh yeah, it's all the same pictures we've seen before. Oh God, there's a monster top. Excuse me, can everybody hear me? If Hi, you know the kill people. Please tie her up and inform me or David Madsen. She's wanted for the death of Chloe Price. Wanted for the death of Chloe Price? Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. No, no, this is the statue of the school. Hey, babe, babe. <laughs> This Who again. wants to go, Abe? Hey, go, Abe, go, Abe, Abe, Abe. Where are the photos? Where's the photo for? You take my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. I Get in the car. Skull should be Victoria instead of Max. Max. What kind of sick mind? Max, I know you're in here. You can run, but you can't hide from your white knight. Give it up! Was it Jefferson? Really? What's up with you and that blue-haired loser? Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. 
Wake up. Yeah, maybe this is just a nightmare. Meh. Hey! Oh, this is annoying. Max! Stop! Hey! Stop! Shut up, Mikulin. Max! Hey. Shut up, Warren. Stop! So annoying. Whoa, okay. What kind of sick mind would steal here. money from the handicap? Max, where are you? Miss Max yeah, we stole money from the handicap fund. Come, come, come out to play! Right, all- I see, I listened to all Warren's dialogue before. And there's some hey, baby. Show up at some very sexual, go sexual, go away, go away, baby. cringe worthy dialogue from this Warren right here. I wish I could press a button and blow this whole you fucking my school. Wheels, Max? Get in the car. There's so many I'll voices, I'm getting annoyed. Um, Get in the car. To make sure you never snoop around his Where's the locker, guys? My files. Come over here, young Max. You're my spirit animal. Too bad you didn't become friends with the Tabanga. Oh, there it is. I thought it would be near Warren. You need an alpha male, baby. Alpha male, baby. Oh, God. Oh, shit, Warren. Whoa. That is too weird. <laughs> Fucking scary. Is, there one, is this what Max thinks of Warren? Like he's obsessed Just in case with her? I need Maybe evidence. he's not really that obsessed with her. I said get in the car now! Look who's the driving. Warren is too alpha. To me forever and we'll go ape, ape, ape. Whoa. Like seriously. Imagine if one day like you find this in some guy's locker who was suspected of having a crush on you. Oh my god, I don't know. You didn't become friends with the t Tabanga. Max. I thought it would be some deeper meaning towards all the Native American law, like the Tobanga and stuff. Friend, Chloe, yeah. this it does kind of foreshadow things, honest. but not really. You just use your power and cheat at life. Like people, some people thought that the Tobanga was like revenge on the Prescott for just show up at Black like the um. Violating sacred um, Native American grounds, like you tribal grounds, or whatever. Max, do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? <laughs> the scarf. Everything, and you end up destroying the town. Max, you're just jealous I think, because me and Victoria. I think the same might be a drag queen. Well, you do nothing and whine. That's why there's a scarf. Hey, Max, please come here. Stop. Don't smoke. Nothing and whine. Please come here. Nothing and wine. We'll try to take on a prep. Max! I wanna hear all Nathan's dialogues. Only a feminazi will try to take on a Prescott, huh? Blackwell is my turf, you whore. You just use your power to cheat in life and cheat your friends out of life. The only way you'll ever get into the Vortex Club uh, is if the way, tornado hi, swallows uh, your ass up. Hey! Is there more than one, Ethan? You'll ever get into the Vortex Club is if a tornado swallows your ass up. Ugh. Hey, Max. Pretty fucking ironic that I ended up being right about everything and you end up destroying the town. Max. Destroying the town. <laughs> Oh yeah, exactly midnight. Hey Max, please come here. So I can beat you up. Violent David. Just like you, Max, and you can't keep saving her. Stop! Oh, I can't even listen to that dialogue because so they're everywhere. Just like you, Max, and you can't keep saving her over and over. Get and your bony ass over here. Like I'm gonna cut you I open, freak. Like and feel that. Those were my bees, Max! Those were my fucking bees! <laughs> oh, the bottles. Yeah. Uh, damn it. Max. Go about them. Oh, Max! Max! 
possible. Mac. I have to get all the photos. Max. Oh no. Bottles. Max. This might be hell. Got it? Yeah. Max. Come back. You took some of my drugs. Maybe you'd be a lot happier. My blood spattered angel. Get your bony ass over here. Max. Rachel not only gave great headshots. She gave great oh, sexual innuendo. Well, it's not innuendo, it's actually a little bit. Well, little little. These ones aren't too Max. hard to find. Oh, okay. Max! Oh, shit. That Max! Wait, what? I must still get a photo even if I rewind. Oh, god damn it. This is what I hate about this power game. Don't even know how many bottles I have. Nobody ever helped me, Max. Especially you. It's gonna be so sweet. Get over here! I wanna listen to Nathan's dialogue, but he talks. It's gonna be so sweet. Max! Wait. It's gonna be so sweet when I bury your carcass next to Rachel and do an epic photo shoot. Max! Stop! Max! Max! I wanna share my gift. Hey, Max, what the fuck ever you gonna do now that I'm dead? Hey Max, what the fuck ever you gonna do now that I'm dead? When you keep putting me th Max! Wait, when I bury your carcass okay. next to Rachel. Max, Max. you need to get high like Rachel. <clears throat> Want some drugs? Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Hey Max, what the fuck ever you gonna do How now can I that get I'm to dead? heaven when you keep putting me through hell? Oh man, Rachel looked just like a zombie model of Max. Max. So is there one more left? Max. One more. Me and Rachel are floating down here. Don't you see us. dare run away. On down. Yeah, Frank's dead. Max! Um, where's the last one? Come back. You Darker. took some of my drugs. No. no. Gotcha! Annoying. Hey. Oh. God. Break through hell. Stop. God. Where's the last bottle? What How can I get the show? Say. Uh huh. You will be my great. Those were Max. my beans, Max. Rachel not only gave Those great were my shots. fucking beans. She gave great. If only you could have seen Rachel. Oh, I don't know my where the last bottle is. My blood spattered. Hey, Max! I'm trying to get all the pictures. Oh, there it is. Now the Please let that be the last one. Time. I want to do anything special if you get all the photos in the game. Like, every single one of them. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Okay, finally we're out of here. I hate this part so much. Not as it's flawed, but it's just annoying. Don't you dare question the chef. 
Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. I was also hinting that Max feels so bummed that Chloe made her search for bottles. He's like, really, Chloe? You're not even going to help Max find the bottles. Oh. They're so lazy hey, honey. and bossy. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. <sighs> We're all going to work at the two win. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast upon. You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? <laughs> That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your Hell college is. fund? Keys, please. <clears throat> Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the square jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! Uh, you can't hide from me forever! Chloe is flawed. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Doesn't make her a bad person. destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe she and Max is, wine table. She does care about Max. Okay. Um, hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Okay. That's about it. Confession. Dad. Oh, this. <laughs> How long will this nightmare this go on? This is the only best part of the nightmare. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber. But not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was ass and no tongue. What? I hear that. I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust a move. <sighs> oh my god. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. Yeah, I agree. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. What'd you say about Damn, Chloe? Victoria. I agree You're a real you. woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. <laughs> oh my god. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead, and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Hmm. Yeah, um, Chloe, yeah, Chloe was, like what I said before, I didn't really like Chloe. In the first two episodes, because she was a total bitch, and she whined a lot. But then I thought, like, after her development over the next two episodes, like, can relate to her as well. And I just thought, wait a minute, that Chloe is like a lot of teenagers. Not all teenagers, of course, but it does represent uh, a lot of teenagers, like, realistically, that's how they are portrayed. And she's not very basic. Which is kind of cool, and she also reminded, <laughs> she also reminded me when I was a teenager. I said, um, it was a difference between me and Chloe when I was, well, how old was I? Once I got out of that phase, I think I got out of it when I was, yeah, nineteen. But Chloe's age. Oh hi, Kitty. Um, yeah, so I could totally relate to Chloe. 
and that's why like I started to empathize with her and I understood. Great numbers like, are behavior. all over the place. How will I find the right code? Yeah, that's how I fell in love with Chloe. Just like how her representation of other teenagers, not just not just Chloe, like Max as well, like how she's. Like it shows all the flaws of being a human. Like um, Max was at first very, such a hypocrite. A lot of people were hypocrite in this game, and she was very judgmental. And over time, she learns that it was beyond other people. Even if it involves using her powers, but she learns that things are not what they seem, and you can't really judge people. It is sometimes natural instinct to judge people at the first look. Even I do it, but like. There's just a first impression thing. So after a while, you have to change your opinion on people. You can't stick to one opinion. You have to find the truth. And not judge on first impressions. Mm. That was the lesson of the game, which I really liked. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Yes, I feel like your uh, 18, 19 year, year olds should be treated like adults, but only if they act like adults. A lot of teenagers, or well, 18, 19 year olds, they still do irresponsible things. Like, not even just 18, 19 year olds, even the people like 20s in their 30s, some of them are still irresponsible. Like, age doesn't equal, equal sorry, I really tongue to start now. Age doesn't equal, bleh. age doesn't equal to maturity. Like I even I've known someone who was fifteen and he was so much more mature than me. Like he lost his dad, so he had to step up and be the dad of the family. He had to work and take care of his uh family and that kinda changed his mentality. And he actually thinks like a thirty year old, so it doesn't really matter what your age is. So you kill me and now all of my customers? Oh, what's wrong with you, Max? <laughs> Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. <laughs> now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Yeah. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Honey, please. I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're going to take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max. You're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. So this is how Max gets so her revenge on cool. That's okay if I'm gone. I've paid my dues. Time to pay yours. Yeah, this is saving. not how I wanted to spend my last hour on Earth. Max, can you call my mother in Portland and tell her that I love her? I know I haven't been the best principal to you. But you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. I guess my husband and new baby will have to go without me. Don't let the squirrels die. I wish die. we had been friends, Max. But please, don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Max, I'm truly... I truly am sorry Bye. for being such a bastard. You would have been... Cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Always make me sad thinking about Nathan. Uh... Even if I'm dead, how can you let all these other people get wiped out? They don't deserve that. Oh, let me get this straight. You didn't bother to save me or the bay. How pathetic, child. Okay, I also think this is... Max. I hope you can live with yourself after this. Like this um, situation right here, like all these people frozen surrounding Max and talking about her killing them is what happens if you choose to sacrifice the bay. So it's kind of a dick move for do not saying that, oh, you should feel, re okay, I'm not gonna judge people who choose sacrificing bay, but it's like showing, it's like foreshadowing, say, Oh, you're such a bitch for like letting all these people die because they say, "Oh, why'd you have to kill us, Max?" Blah blah blah. 
Or is this foreshadowing no, this that die. choice? My husband and new baby. I know Killing I me is so... Okay, so oh, this is oh, how Max oh, gets her revenge. Oh, oh, great. Every time I got yours. Old fishermen never die. Why would you do that? Well, until now. I've already lived forever. Maybe you can help others live too. Live forever. Is that some reference to reincarnation? I also feel that she is actually a native American. So this is how Max gets her revenge. Oh, she's just really wise. Like I told you before. And now you're gonna take me away. Old fishermen. Never die. Just her dialogue. Why would you do that? Well, now. I've already lived forever. Or whatever. Maybe you can many help voices. others live too. That's my okay. Don't help the squirrels die. I wish they had been friends. Uh, please, please, Max, don't kill me. But so please. we can finally have our don't tea session. Don't let me die like this. Max, I want I'm you to know so how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family. Just so I can end up here to die. No, Piccolo is a very old theory. I don't think they think about that anymore. Well, I don't know if it's still possible. Is alternate max, but usually they don't co they don't exist in the same in one timeline. That's not how it works in this game anyway. Who who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers. No, it's a m bitch Max versus scumbag Max. Yeah, I'm getting tongue twister right now. I'm so tired. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It wasn't my choice. It wasn't my choice. I didn't ask to rewind time. Stop playing innocent. You've left a trail of death behind you. You even let that stalker Madsen kill Jefferson. That's sick. You're way more of a cold-blooded killer than him or Nathan. I'm a survivor. No, I'm a survivor. I don't have any experience in time travel or stopping psychopaths like Jefferson. I did what I had to. Oh, the jury will love to hear about your mad time travel skills. I know what I am. You're just trying to hurt me. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Just look at the pain you've caused. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> yeah, this and what about Frank? That bullet in him wasn't your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Yeah, I like how this conversation is pointing out all the flaws in Max. And pointing out all the, like, all the decisions we've been making. And just making us contemplate, say, wait, there's no right decision or wrong decision. It's like, is everything, <laughs> is everything wrong? Oh, that's life, isn't it? Just life is just so strange. I'm really, it, I like how this game, even though it's like mind-fucking, it just makes you contemplate so much about life. Like the people in it, like how we handle it, and basically our decisions in life. Like how we choose to interact with people and how we respond to them. Um, we all are with it. We all are. This isn't about Chloe, or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. <laughs> it's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. That's very oh, subjective. Hell, speak of the devil. Very subjective reloaded. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. 
This is reality. It's a very debatable principle. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. It's Welcome hard, home, Max. It's hard to fasten your seatbelt. Pick other people against the people you care about, especially when it comes to quantity, because this is what people usually refer to. Like, is risking one, is risking a thousand lives worth to save one? Like how it is with Chloe. But the thing is, like, maybe those thousand people doesn't matter to you, but one per that one person does. But the thing is. Life is this life this death in life and just living with death is part of life. So everyone dies. You have to accept that. So that's the thing about the game, especially with the sacrifice Chloe ending. Like we have to leave it to fate. Like Chloe was fated to die. Max tried to change fate. And like in real life, you can't do that. You can't change you can't rewind time, basically. That's one of the things why time travel it will always be impossible. Like, I thought it was possible. Like, you know how technology has evolved so fast? And there's, like, things like um, cars. Human beings can fly now. We can transfer money without even taking out the physical form of it. We can call using phones, communicate over distances. Like, a lot of things has happened, but... And I also think like tran teleportation could be possible too. I'm not exactly sure how, but time travel, uh, definitely no. It's a big. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance! Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Yeah. And um, I also thought, like, why didn't Max just step in, in between Chloe and Nathan? Like, Nathan wasn't even supposed to be in the toilet. He, that was the girl's toilet. Um. No, no, nah. time travel is impossible. That's the bottom line. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. And if you're religious, Yo, turn it off, turn it off. you can actually reinforce you today, your Max. point. You saved me. Of how I'm still tripping on that. Time Seeing you after impossible. all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Okay, like I, I like what the sacrifice. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? I like the sacrifice Chloe ending. Like, it was beautifully done. Like, I thought that the second ending, I wouldn't mind if Max saved Chloe. Just, is it, I think the execution bothered me and why I chose to sacrifice Chloe. That's just me. Like, I wouldn't kill a thousand people over one person even though it's someone I love. That's why I chose to sacrifice Chloe. Even though it took me a long time to decide that was my final, that's just my principle. I can't sacrifice people just for one person. Like how I believe fate and things like that. Or a storm is. Let's talk about your superpower. Uh, just gonna walk Epic. through all this. Weird Welcome scenes. to American Rust, my home away from hell. You saved me again. Crazy. Favorite part of the now game. We're totally bonded for life. It's my favorite part. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and com. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my part, Max, you better come check out these files. Cowabunga! Why look, an odd- Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off with- Photo bomb! Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. I didn't kiss Sorry, her. not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself off. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me... Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, it's weird hanging out with you again. I know. 
Whoa, awesome picture. We look so bad. Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. Oh, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. Chloe. I still want to see her body or whatever. <laughs> body bag. Sorry, Chloe. Imagine I'm if so Chloe sorry. actually saw the body, like her I face loved her so whatever. much. <laughs> Come on, Max. Come we're on, almost, Max. There. almost there. Please wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah, it's okay Max, if you can't watch Max. it. Uh, can you hear me? Hear, me? hear me? You can still watch the ending on YouTube tomorrow Hang when on, I post Max. it up. Hang on, Max. We can make it. We can make it. Max. Max. Come on now. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something, Chloe. I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! Okay, goodbye, midnight. I changed fate and destiny Thanks for so coming. much that I'm watching. I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Yeah, the voice acting here is so captivating. This can't help but cry. Max! This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. <laughs> you... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... <laughs> Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive there's so many more people in arcadia bay who should live way more than me don't say that i won't trade you you're not trading me maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny look at how many times i've almost died or actually died around you look at what's happened in arcadia bay ever since you first saved me i know i've been selfish but for once I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Um, by the way, Hannah Tell is uh, pretty new to like the voice acting scene. 
And yeah, she, I also thought that her voice acting was kind of um, okay. The first four episodes, like I think, it's really, it really improved so much in this episode. Like okay, she's pretty new, and I think for for her project now is it's quite alright. Not perfect, but she's alright, I guess. Um, but yeah, Ashley has been d- doing voice acting for at least five years, I believe. So, but even for five years, it's quite a short time. But there is some significant experience. So yes, okay. Anyway, sorry, we're gonna sacrifice Arcadia Bay because my previous playthrough, I sacrificed Chloe, and probably some singing time is in order. Probably was seeing my parody again. <laughs> Okay, goodbye, Bay. Max, it's time. Not me. anyway, Pickle. Even if I choose to sacrifice Chloe, there won't be a kiss because in this playthrough, I didn't kiss her in episode three. Max, I'll always be with you. Forever. Yeah, that made me think, is this a happy ending because they play a happy song? And then the other ending is a sad song. Oh wait, no! Copyright! Oh my god. I almost forgot. Oh. Then I can sing because I'm getting turned off by the music. So I save Chloe, my babe, and kill the million people there while embracing on this cliff, and I don't even feel bad, bad. So it's my fault since I fucked up. Screw responsibilities. Chloe, where's my price real kiss? Guess it's cause I'm a murderer, killed your mom and stepfather. Like you give a shit Forget the bitches here Forget the dickheads there Leave them all to die <laughs> It is us and it is just <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a career I'm so gay for Chloe Hay I'll kill for her any day We're not even gonna search for survivors Oh my god, look at the bodies I'm so gay for Chloe, hey I'll kill for her any day We're not even gonna <laughs> Search for survivors Cause I'm I'm so gay for Chloe, hey I'll kill for her any day We're not even gonna search for survivors Cause I... <laughs> Forget the bitches here Forget the dickheads there Leave them all to die The future's us and it is just I'm so gay for Chloe, hey I'll kill for her any day We're not even gonna search for survivors Cause I'm gay <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I know my voice sucks, but couldn't resist. Um, I I was referring to Max, or well, not really Max. Uh, pickle. 
the Smacks and the Players who chose to sacrifice. It was like a parody, making fun of people who chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay, or like Max. If you, yeah, you know, like the player stash Max. <laughs> okay, so we're done with Life is Strange. Uh, yeah. So I won't be doing any more gameplay for Life is Strange because we finished. But yeah, I'll be doing some videos. Like, I still got my top 10 list to do and my crack videos. And now I've seen most of the dialogue and I've recorded it. Um, yeah, it'll be easier for me to get some clips that I need. Oh, Neon Kitty, you've not seen the Sacrifice Chloe ending? Uh, David didn't get a scar. Killed Jefferson. Didn't save the trucker. Didn't save Evan. Didn't save Alyssa. Didn't save Fisherman. Yeah, well, that's not an option. Oh, Frank is dead. Yeah. And we kissed Warren. <laughs> Majority did that. Okay. You guys want me to play the other ending? Is everyone okay with that? Is everyone okay? Uh, I don't think I can put the music on because I'll get copyrighted for it. So if you want to play that ending, it'll be silent. <laughs> yeah, like if you want me to play the ending, it'll be silent. Mm, so I'm not sure if you want to see it silent. It'll be so weird. If you want, I can sing the song, the proper song, without the parody of it. Yeah, even Mari got problems with copyright too, because she mentioned it. But no, the thing is, you're gonna you record the song, and I'm gonna post this on YouTube. But anyway, yeah, let's just uh, let's just play the ending. I'll try to sing the ending. Oh god, not this again. We have to go through all the talk. Um, yep. Max! Max, can you hear me? Please say something! Chloe? I... I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank god! Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. Yeah, sure. You can put on the music you, that you want. Was like, so start playing real. it when it was so when they show Nathan checking the body. I think that's the right timing. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago.
You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. Let's leave it all I'm so selfish. Like... Not like my I mom. Don't the lyrics. Look what she had to give up and I'm live through. Ready. And I she did. did I can't remember. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. No, I think you made me smile was a good and laugh choice. like Not I Chloe haven't done in years. For it. For this Wherever scene, I end up after ending. this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision, Chloe. I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Yeah, there's the instrumental version online. That's how I made my parody. And, um... What is it called? Uh, yeah, I... Do you guys see the... What do you call it? Um, The, the music gate remix posted, I Can't Find You, was the original song for the ending. The ending, I mean the credits song is um, the credits song is instrumental version of I Can't Find You and I think that song should have played for the Sacrifice Bay ending at least they'll have some feels to it like won't it? Max It's time Oh Casey Chloe I'm so so sorry I I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody. Okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week. It was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you so much. No kiss, because war is bay. <clears throat> I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. Not this part again. She's gonna burn that photo. Like, if Max keeps the photo of the butterfly, she can keep going back here. Well, I don't know if she still has her powers. If she doesn't try to save Chloe. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. 
Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. It's stuck in my head. Like I remember. You don't know who the fuck so I am bad. or who you're messing around with. Even before this came out, Where did this you episode get that? came out. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to What's get in hella more fault? trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Chloe antagonized him. He pushed, she pushed Nathan, and that's why he accidentally shot her. Oh, God. Okay, singing time. <clears throat> so I walked into the haze And a million dirty ways Now I see you lying there Like a light of losing air but mm, I'm, I'm not sure. Still, that summer I cannot bear, and I wipe the sweat from my eyes. The Spanish Sahara, the place that you wanna leave the horror here. Forget the horror here Forget the horror here Leave it all down here It's future lost and it's future dust Forget the horror here Forget the horror here Leave it all down here it's future us and it's fu future us. I'm a fury in your head. I'm a fury in your bed. Oh wait, oh, I missed. Okay, I skipped. I'm a bit too fast. Uh. Das, das, das. Da, 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 da. Now the waves they drag you down, carry you to broken ground. Though I find you in the sand Wipe you clean with dirty hands So goddamn the spoiling space Spanish Sahara, the place that you wanna Leave the horror here Forget the horror here Forget the horror here Leave it all down here It's future us and it's future dust The fury in your head Yeah, yeah, let's close bracelet Cause I I'm the fury in your head I'm the fury in your bed I'm the ghost in the back of your head Cause I'm, I'm the fury in your head I'm the fury in your bed I'm the ghost in the back of your head Cause I'm <sighs> really hurts me to see Joyce like that. Just a reminder that Joyce lost both William and Chloe within five years. That's a lot of pain. 
But I'm glad she still has David, I guess. But still, like, Chloe's her only child. Just, uh, they just made me cry again, just looking at Joyce. <sighs> look how sad, look how sad she is. Look how heartbroken she is. Oh god. Forget the horror here. Leave it all downhill. It's future us and it's future dust. Fury in your head. I'm the fury in your bed. I'm the ghost in the back of your head Cause I'm, I'm the fury in your head I'm the fury in your bed I'm the ghost in the back of your head Frank be like, bitch, where's my money? Damn it, she's dead. No three. Where's my three thousand grand, Chloe? You still owe me money, bitch. Yeah. Wrong timing. R.I.P. Chloe. Oh, look, oh my God, Joyce. Okay, I didn't really see her face. That. Oh God, damn it. Nope. Um. All the. Outcomes of everybody else, all the choices we made with everybody else is now invalid because, well, not invalid, it just didn't happen. So, your friend's still alive. No, f yeah, friend died, but we went back in time. So, all that stuff that happened to everyone, like, yeah, it didn't happen. Different timeline, yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, we're done. We're done with Life is Strange for good. So, was it someone's first time looking at the ending? Was it forgot her name? Um, yeah. But how'd you find it? <laughs> you're the only person here who I think you're the only person here who has um seen the um ending the first time. Oh, Neon Kitty. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I'm escaping Life is Strange. I'm just saying I'm done with the game. I'll probably play it again. Yeah, how did you find it, Neon Kitty? Are you crying right now? Sorry I didn't put on the music. Just copyright issues. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't put the music on. And because I was singing, probably takes the mood off. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah. Okay guys, uh, we're done with the stream. I won't be doing any more streams for a while. I'll still be putting out stuff on YouTube like videos, gameplay videos and um, uh, Life is Strange stuff. So don't worry. <laughs> tissue box. Uh, don't get your own. I'm, I have a tissue box right here with me and it's empty. I didn't even cry. Like I watched the ending too many times and I gotten used to it. To be honest, I'm not someone who cries a lot. I think after watching it three times I stopped crying. But yeah, the song like listening to the song still hurts me. <laughs> okay, bye Louis. Okay, anyway guys, um so you guys are Okay, the stream is over. 
getting late. I'm gonna go to bed soon. Anyways, uh, if you guys are on Twitter, can you help me vote the next game to play? So next week, um, Tomb, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Fallout is coming out, and I wanna play. I want. I would play both, but I want to know which one I should do first. And I can't <laughs> decide because I like both. I've been waiting for both for a long time. So help me decide which one I should do first, so you guys can watch, like firsthand. So help me vote on Twitter. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and the stream. It's been like 3 hours of streaming, or actually 3 and a half hours almost. And um, it's done, I can't believe it. <laughs> Everyone wants to do Rise of Tomb Raider. Um, does anyone like Fallout? Well, so far the vote on Twitter is 50-50. Um, yeah, it's 50-50, so I'm scared it's be stuck on 50-50. It's not like no one can help me decide. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how it is. If, uh, if I still get 50-50 votes, I will go with Tomb Raider, since you guys say Tomb Raider. Um... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. So thank you guys for watching the stream. I'll be putting up I'll be putting it up on YouTube soon. So <laughs> Okay. I got it. You guys want to meet her. <laughs> Sour pickle, okay. <laughs> Alright, um yeah we'll see. I'm gonna get the game anyway, so yeah. I'm gonna play both, but yeah, just which one to play first. Okay hey guys, gonna go to bed. I'm going to switch it off. I'll see you guys on YouTube or Twitter. Bye. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Do it! Just do it! Forget the bitches here Forget the big heads there Leave them all to die The future's us and it is just